What's up, running friends? It's Wednesday of week 12 of the marathon training, and I'm inc incredibly excited today because I got a new shoe to try out. Uh, this is the Hoka Rocket X. Um, it's a carbon plated shoe, so we're gonna see how well this boosts my performance today. So I'm gonna do a couple mile warm up in my regular shoes, and then I'm gonna run a 5K with this. I'm not gonna go crazy or anything, but I just wanna see, you know, how much does it give me a boost and uh, see how the shoes feel. Uh, so I'm gonna wear them this weekend for a 10 mile race and then probably for the marathon in four weeks. Say hi to the that was a good two mile warm up. I'm gonna do a few stretches and change shoes and then we'll see what these things can do. Let's get going. First few steps, I'm barely out of the parking lot. I can already feel it pushing me forward. I'm gonna try to do an effort of what I usually do on my marathon pace runs. It's about 155 to 160 heart rate for about an 840 average pace. We'll see how that goes. First half mile uphill into the wind. It says my heart rate's 138 average pace. 7.23, let's go. Dialed it back a little. First mile is still 7.28. May have been a little excited to try the new shoes. Turned around a little early, so I have to go up the big hill. Mile two, 7.39. Did I mention it's 70 degrees out? Half a mile to go. Even though I'm feeling it, I know I'm slowing down. Shoes are still pushing me to a sub eight mile. It's pretty awesome. Let's finish it out. Mile three, 752. Finish the last bit, about a 730 pace. We're a sub 24, 5K. May not be a personal best, but it's close. These shoes are incredible. So initial reaction to the Hoka Rocket X. Everything about it, yes, was amazing. Granted, it's only a 5K run but it was my second fastest 5k ever according to strava so i picked mine up on clearance from roadrunner sports off their website so yeah if you can find some in your size highly recommend go pick some up we'll wear them saturday for the 10 miler and reevaluate but I see no reason why not to wear them at the marathon the only drawback is uh you got to be careful and not let the shoe control you like i said even on that third mile i was kind of winded it kept wanting to push me forward so trying to slow down was hard so i mean you really got to focus on your pace and what you're doing and don't let it don't get carried away by the shoe make sure you're staying in control we'll see how that goes on on marathon race day until then talk to you later have a good run